I'm Sally Crabtree and I'm a poet and a children's author and I also design and um, perform installations which have all got words at the heart of them and some of these have included poetry, a sweet shop of words, poetry bingo, edible poetry, poems in a tin and the thing that I've been doing recently is the poetry postie who delivers poetic inspiration to the nation. Normally, the Poetry Postie engages with people, it's very, very, very sociable, but obviously during lockdown, I wasn't allowed to see anybody. So I thought, how on earth can I carry on with all that I do? So I came up with the idea of doing a radio show called Poetry Postie FM, and together with our local um, radio station, Coast FM, I put on a radio show each week, which was called Poetry Postie FM, and it delivered poetic inspiration via the airwaves. I have to say, and I'm not just creeping here, that children are one of my hugest inspirations because they live in the moment. They're so honest, they're so fresh, they're so funny. I'd much rather spend an hour with some children than an hour with some boring grown-ups who just drone on. Not all the time, I don't, I don't want to put the grown-ups off. Um, but children really inspire me. Also, I'm inspired by beautiful things like the birds in the morning, the blackbirds. The blackbirds during lockdown really inspired me with their beautiful song. They even inspired me to start writing tunes on the piano, inspired by what they were singing. Um, flowers inspire me, so beautiful things in nature. And ultimately, um, I'm quite inspired by philosophy. And the word philosophy means the love of truth. Philosophy, the love of truth. And I think I'm really inspired by trying to work out what is the truth of our existence? And I know that that'll take me all my life to find out. So it's a lovely journey and I'm inspired by the journey and learning every day as I go. Somebody once said to me, why on earth do you want to live that far away? And I feel like saying, well, it's so peaceful. And you can kind of do what you want to do. You don't have to follow fashion. Um, so in a funny sort of way, you're, you're a little bit freer. Um, and obviously it's the beautiful nature and the fabulous people. Um, I'd like to say it was the fabulous sea, but I'm too, I'm too chicken to swim in the sea. But if I was a bit brave, I would swim in the sea and that would, that would be added to my list. In the beginning, nothing was heard. All was silent, not a word. Till the word bird sang and the world began. She sang the rivers, she sang the streams. She sang the sky and she sang your dreams. All the word birds sang and the world began. She sang the sunlight, she sang the hours. She sang the rainbows and she sang the flowers. She sang the meadows, she sang the trees. She sang the hills and she sang the leaves. She sang horizons, she sang deep seas. She sang the shore and she sang the breeze. All the word birds sang and the world began. She sang the evening, she sang the twilight, she sang the moonshine and she sang the night. She sang the wonder, she sang the stars, she sang delight in this world of ours. She sang the creatures and sang as a heart, that magical place where love's song is heart. Oh, the word birds sang and the world began. The world began when the word birds sang. <laughs> so excited for this and um, I was so glad when you asked me to do a creative task and I'm going to show you how to make a word bird. Now you might remember that before I was talking about my poetry and my poetry is a copper tree which has got beautiful objects on it but today I went out for a little walk and I found a twig, I don't know if you can see this okay, it's a little twig and I've decided to think about making a little mini poetry. So I wanted to think about making a book that could go in a poetry. So I'm going to show you how to make a word bird book. 
And you could make your own poetry if you could find a little twig somewhere, or you could sculpt something out of coat hangers, or do, do whatever you like. But anyway, this is the easiest book in the world. Take a little piece of paper. This is A4 paper, but you could use a bit of newspaper, any paper that you can find, as long as you don't steal it off your mum and dad. And you know, they're writing something very important. Don't use that because you might get in trouble and I might get in trouble. So you get an A4 piece of paper, fold it in half like this, and then fold it in half again. Now, I'm gonna do mine very quickly, but you can take a lot longer with yours and you can add all sorts of things to make it glitzy. You will need a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna cut it out like this. And you'll see that I have cut out a shape of a very simple bird. Now, if it was on the table, you can see that it can wobble, okay? But what we'll do just to make it um, secure is you have to get a stapler. I've got one here that I'll use. Um, if you haven't got a stapler at home, in the olden days, they used to sew the pages of books together. So maybe you could sew your pages together. And if you haven't got any thread and you haven't got a stapler, don't worry. It'll be lovely even if you don't sew it at all. Then you need to get a little pen or some paints or whatever you like to make the beak. You can cut it out of um, cardboard if you prefer. I'm going to do mine very, very quickly, but you can spend a nice time on yours to make it beautiful. So, we've got a little beak. So now the bird can sing, but it does need to be able to see how beautiful you are. So I'm going to get a little eye and I'm going to get my glue and let's see what I'm doing here. I'm going to glue the eye on. So can you see that very simply we have made a little book in the shape of a word bird. Now, if you wanted to add feathers, you can. You can add glitzy things, whatever you can find around the house. And your creative task is to write a little poem or a little ditty, which is a word for a short song, in your word bird. And if you can find a little poetry or even use a real tree, you can take a photograph of your beautiful word bird in your tree and send it to us. And we'd love to see it. And maybe I could put some of the words to music if you send me a poem or you send me some lyrics of a song. I could choose one and we could celebrate it during the online festival. Yeah.